Hi, good morning. Welcome to Coffee With Me. I'm Susan B. Lahaki, running for President of the United States with the Green Party, dressed as a suffragette from a hundred years ago because I'm still celebrating the 100 year anniversary of women's rights to vote. And um, anyways, I'm in my kitchen, my temporary kitchen here. Welcome. I'm glad you could stop by. So I'm going to take a sip of my water. And let's continue. So it is Tuesday, Talk Tuesday. So later I'm going to go over again my human rights uh, or my U.S. citizen rights that I have, that I released some, you know, like a month ago and two months ago. I think I've talked about them a couple of times, but I guess when you're uh, running for president, you know, you have to keep sort of reminding people. Oh, and by the way, I'm a write-in. So you have to write me in if you want to see me. And you can write me in in Alabama, Iowa, D.C., uh, Oregon, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Vermont, Wyoming, Mississippi, New Hampshire, and Rhode Island. So yes, so please write me in, Susan B. Lahaki. So it's Susan, S-U-S-A-N. Then there's a space and then B, capital B, for boy or whatever, bookser is what it stands for, and then uh, Lahaki is spelled, at, not at all how it's uh, pronounced, so it is L-O-C-H-O-C-K-I. So, that's my little advertisement for myself. Yeah, women, women, um, I'm kind of into the Native American talk, though. So I think we're going to continue with that uh, today. I've come across some more uh, very interesting uh, TED Talks or talks in general that I might want to share with you, so stay tuned. Then um, I want to just mention yesterday I talked about uh, the riots, and I don't want to say that I agree with them, but I... I think it's a message from the people that they're not feeling heard by the government. So we also need to look into those. I think the peaceful protests are wonderful. Again, it's a message. People are trying to communicate with the government and the people who have, yeah, who are in power, for the lack of a better word. So we need to stop and we need to listen because the things keep happening. We need to listen to the peaceful protesters 100%. And if there are rioters, they're trying to send a message too. So we need to find out what that message is and address it as well. Okay, that's, that's really what I meant yesterday. It didn't come out that way when I looked back at the, at the recording. So just, um, just so you know, that's, that's really what I meant. The riots are not okay. They are not okay. But the peaceful protests are okay. So, um, yeah. I guess, actually, what I want to discuss is the uh, doctrine of discovery and the exploitation. And the fact that it's still being used today, only in 2005 was the last time it was referenced in the courts. It's just shocking to me. I hope you're shocked too. Uh, so I'm gonna talk more about that too, I think, in my, my talks later because I have to do some research and um, it's just disturbing that we would still be using this document today. So I guess ultimately what that means is I don't know what the senators, the presidents, and 
the House of Representatives have been doing over the last 200, almost 50 years. Okay, at the beginning we had documents that were made and created and used, but we need to overhaul our documents. If we're still returning to such a document to make a court decision, there has to be another law on the book somewhere that that takes care of that document because that is not appropriate. That is not the America I live in. We do not go by that rule anymore, in my opinion. We are not here to conquer. We are here to lead, maybe, we are here to help, yes, but to conquer, no. To take over, no. That's not what we are. We don't do that. If somebody wants to join the U.S. and become a U.S. state, if a country wants to change and become state, that we do. But even that document needs to be rewritten. I don't know if you've looked at it lately, I looked at it briefly last November, I think, and I was shocked there too. So we have a lot of really old documents that need to be rewritten and we need to start all over and that way we can ensure that everybody is included, all U.S. citizens, Native Americans, African Americans, women and rainbow Americans, all of us, we all get to be included, Asian Americans, and that also includes European Americans, yes, we all get to be included in that document. And we need to come to terms with moving forward together. Okay. So, uh, I will go over the woman of the day, which is Helen Keller. And Helen Keller was born in 1880 in Tuscumbia, Alabama. I know I mispronounced that. A childhood illness left her blind, deaf, and almost incapable of speech. Her teacher, Ann Sullivan, from 1887 to 1936, opened the world of learning for her. By the time Keller was 16, she could speak well enough to attend preparatory school, and she graduated with honors in 1904 from Radcliffe College. Her life's mission was to help the blind and the handicapped. She lectured in the United States and abroad and authored several books. When Ann Sullivan died in 1936, Keller's secretary, Mary Agnes Polly Thompson, from 1885 to 1960, took her place. Keller's lasting contribution was her inspiring example of living a significant life despite her handicaps. She died June 1, 1968 in Westport, Connecticut. So her highlighted uh, accomplishments was worked all her life to support the American Foundation for the Blind helped pass the law which provided federal funded reading services for the blind in the U.S., called America's Goodwill Ambassador to the World for her humanitarian efforts for the handicapped, won acceptance of Braille as the standard alphabet for the blind in 1932. Okay, so that's it. For that, uh, the song of the day is from the Disney movie Pocahontas. 
and its colors of the wind. That's it for me today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in my Talk Tuesday talks later. And I'll be putting some TED Talks up too. All right. Have a good day. Bye.